Welcome to SQL reporting service tutorial. This is part one and let's get started. So first of all you want to know why and what is RSS and do you think that you guys can do it? I mean first let's have a look what is SQL reporting service and how it works in the real world. If you look at the SQL reporting service as you know we got like plenty of databases. We got SQL, Oracle, DB2. I mean on the right hand side you can see these I mean sorry the left hand side you see the databases and the right hand side you can see the reporting service the Microsoft SQL reporting service which is very much capable of talking to the database and on the bottom side you can see R1 R2 I'm just I have named that it is very much capable of generating a reports right so this is what is SQL reporting service it looks very easy and it's very handy as you can see the SQL reporting service on the right hand side on the top corner is querying through the database like it is very much capable of querying through a different kinds of set of database it is very much faster and very much efficient it writes a very awesome cool queries and based on which it generates a report for you at the runtime alright so now tell us something what about the reporting service what are the features available as we all know it is called as a Microsoft SQL reporting service as well it consists of SSRS, SAS, blah blah blah. I don't care. I mean, you, even you shouldn't care. Uh, we should only care about how do we generate a report and all. All right. So the basic thing is this tool helps you create and deploy the man, and you can manage the reports. So this is a very powerful tool. You can work uh, with this tool in Visual Studio using which you can either choose C hash or VB as a language, or Microsoft has provided <coughs> a tool, a report builder, you, which is very much capable of generating reports as well and it also offers uh, you know a rich intact interactivity in terms of the data presentation like you know bar chart, bar graph then the pie chart and the table matrix and these reports can be previewed within visual studio or it can be viewed in microsoft uh, report builder or it can be uh, viewed in web browser as well and one of the coolest feature of this uh, SQL uh, reporting services whenever you generate a report it is very much capable of exporting the report into the various different formats so you guys will be comfortable alright then it allows the reports to be delivered via email or you can share it at a specific location and you can automate this whole feature this is a coolest feature I like about the SQL reporting service like you imagine uh, you have a client and every uh, Monday he expects a report at 8 in the morning so you can schedule it for him right and it provides a security features like you know who can view the reports who can uh, I mean like you have the roles and privileges I mean it provides awesome security so this is pretty cool right now the question comes into mind is do you think that you guys can do it I say like if you know a little bit of SQL and the and a little bit of joins and grouping a very basic then I'm pretty sure anyone can do this this is very simple this is very basic this is very powerful tool and it helps you guys a lot and this is one of the cool uh, skills you should have on your resume as moving forward right and now uh, this is a kind of a uh, small uh, tutorial which I'm making and I'm gonna show you everything you know step by step what are we going to do what plan I have for you so in this introduction I'm just showing you the summary of content like you know what are we going to do next next we are going to install the uh, SSRS then next uh, we're going to install the database uh, we'll pick a Northwind or adventure whichever you guys like alright and this is the next how you going to generate a reports and all so this is really cool and if you don't know the SQL don't worry you can simply go to uh, uh, the W3C uh, W3Schools.com you can learn the SQL from there it's pretty cool I hope you like this video and if you like this video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel I'll most probably see you in the next video for more alright so thank you for watching